In the home on the street, tell the first one that you meet that our company is tops in his field. Is he friend, is he foe, just recruit him, that's our goal. Yes, who knows, Ark will be number one. We are strong, we are one, and we'll never be outdone. For our product just cannot be beat. Shine your shoes, fresh your suit, go on stealth and then recruit. Yes, who knows, Ark will be number one. For it's sell, 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 and your pockets soon will tell that old Ark is way above the day. Let me tell you something. The spirit that God has put in you will make you do whatever it is that you need to do if you just stay faithful. You have the Spirit. You can build your own district, your own zone, your own territory, your own region. You can do it. You can build whatever you want to build. It hasn't got anything to do with anybody else. Let me tell you something. We have a product that's uneaten. We have a, 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 an insurance policy that's a great policy tied to one of the great mutual funds and the greatest mutual fund in America. And it's been around forever. And we have the greatest product that's ever been designed and ever been put together. It hasn't got anything to do with these people anymore. It doesn't have anything to do with these people. It has nothing to do with me. It has to do with you. You have to say, I am going to do it. I'm going to take up the, the, the cause. And I, I'm, going to, I'm going to propagate this, this great product. I'm going to help people. I'm going to get them to change uh, their, their financial situation because I cared enough to go speak to them. I haven't got anything to do with anybody else. It has to do with you. I said, you know, I'm going to let the teachers teach and the preachers preach and the doctors doctor and the scientists be scientists. And I'm going to help people, average people, become financially secure. That's what I want to do. I want to give them dignity in their old age. I do not want them to be old men and old women. I want them to be elderly ladies and gentlemen. That's my job. That's my calling. That's my purpose in life. And I'm going to give it all I got. Right down to the very end. Uh, if I could go on for days telling you some of the things that we went through to make this thing happen. But these people stuck. They said, this is what we're gonna do. This is our conviction. This is the way we're gonna do it. This is what we're gonna do. And we're, there's no turning back. We're gonna do the, just this. So they sold us a company and they financed 100% of it. Now they didn't want to sell the company and they didn't want to finance it, but they had to because the, the power of the people. God put it in a position that they, there wasn't anything they could do about it. Incidentally, we bought the company and in eight years we paid off the company. We paid it off completely. We was debt free in eight, eight years because these people stood with us. These people, they didn't know how it was gonna turn out. They didn't have any idea how it was gonna turn out. There was no, uh, there, there wasn't any, any uh, map drawn that said, if you do this, this is the way it's gonna turn out. No, there, nobody knew. As a matter of fact, there was $9 million in, in, uh, in uh, the uh, commissions that they had. They had to sign, these people, sign that they would give up their commission if we didn't pay for the company. So they was gonna lose $9 million, this group, uh, if, if, they, if we didn't pay for the company. They still signed it. They still did the job and they stuck with me and we made this thing work. It was absolutely a miracle. 
You know, Ozark is the greatest company that's ever been formed because of the people. There is no question about that. It's the greatest company that has ever been put into operation because we have something that nobody else has. People are the most important thing in the world. They're the most important thing in your life. I want you to understand something. If you don't get yourself associated with the right people, you will never ever make it. You have to have the right people around you to accomplish anything. They have to be people that want God. They have to be people that has a desire uh, to, to do what's right. We're leaders. We say I'm on the cutting edge. I, I have the ability to, uh, to show people how to do this. Show them how to make this thing work. I, I am on the cutting edge. I'm, the le I'm a leader. I'm not part of the pack. I'm a leader. And that's what we need to be, leaders. L listen, we need to get up in the morning and say, thank God I could get up. Now what are we going to do? Sit around and complain? My goodness. We need to be grateful that we have the privilege of being able to go out at a time like this and make a good living. And we ought to be saying, I can show you somebody that's not making a very good living how to make a good living. And I will take you and teach you and show you, not just tell you, but I'll show you. My goodness, folk, what in the world is coming to America. We believe all the time somebody owes us something. We need to get up the first thing in the morning every day. Thank God that we was able to get up. Thank God that we've got food. Thank God that we've got some clothes to wear. Thank God that we've got a job. Now what are we going to do about it? Let's make up our mind when we leave this, con this uh, convention this uh, tomorrow or Sunday that we're going to go back and we're going to have a great last half of the year. We owe it to ourselves. We owe it to the company. We owe it to the people around us. We owe it to the community we live in. We have the right to be leaders in our communities. But we've got to get past ourselves, thinking about ourselves. I am tired. I am uh, discouraged. I, listen, if we'll get up and go to work, it'll change all that stuff. We got a great product. We got a great company. We got everything going for us. All we have to do is be grateful and put it to work. But I think about every one of you. The, uh, the Hugh Wyatt, he's not here, but his son, his daughter-in-law are here. Hugh's gone on to be with the Lord. My great, great friend. How that he stood for me never wavered but stood and he made this he's gone but he helped make this happen and all of the rest of you that hear I, I, Hugh's not here to speak for himself so I will speak for him but all the rest of you that have come and paid this price to cause hundreds now here's what I want to do 
I want to ask everybody in this room that has come here and given your life to Christ. You're born again. You know Jesus. Your life has changed. I want you to stand up. Thank you. This is this is what this this is what this is about. All because of you. Because if you hadn't taken the stand, this wouldn't happen. If you hadn't taken the stand, I, well, there's no way I could have ever been able to have done anything that I've done. It's not about. You can have the greatest company in the world. You can have the greatest product in the world. You can have the greatest people that's left legacy behind in the world and fail. The thing you need to do is to say, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to get up and I'm going to be motivated and I'm going out and do the things that I need to do. I want to ask you, what kind of a company is Ozark? Ozark is you. Ozark is no one but you.